Before we get into today's video, as some of you may know, the I'm There podcast is hosting an Edison tournament on October 28th called the Frozen Soul Cup. There will be a special rule in place that you can only use one of each card in your deck. For example, you would only be able to play one Treeborn Frog or one Elemental Hero Neil's Alias or one Black Wing Blues at the Far North. Everything is limited to one. This greatly changes deck building and technical play, but I will let you guys figure that part out. The prize for this tournament is already up to $300 cash for the top cut. If you would like to donate to the prize pool, please reach out to me. With that being said, Said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm here doing a shadow game slash exhibition match in the Frozen Soul format with my boy Enraged Peacock. He's a supporter of the podcast, supporter of the Patreon and Discord server and everything. So yeah, we're going to be playing in this exciting new format. Uh, it's also being called like EFH, which is Edison Format Highlander. And that's a playoff of EDH, which is from Magic the Gathering. But essentially all you need to know is that in this format, you can only use one of each card. So yeah, this is a deck list that I'm going to try out today. And let's just see what happens. Let's, I'm going to host a duel. Ooh, creamed, creamed. <laughs> Never lucky. 43 is an interesting number. <laughs> it is. Well, I said that to Bank Arm, and we saw what happened there, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Like, he's won four yeah, tournaments. Right. <laughs> he's just taking all the monies. Oh, yeah. I actually asked him, like, his, like, thought and his, like, reasoning behind it, and he actually gave, like, some like math on why he explains it, and it kind of made a lot of sense because he always seemed to have what he needed when he needed it. So, yeah, I'm guessing yeah. this is fine. Yeah, this is all good. I'm not playing Herald of Orange Light in a <laughs> format with one of each card. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, this is a brew that me and uh Jin Real been working up together. It's it's pretty. It's something. Yeah, I saw you guys were playing, you guys were both like playing a Blackwing-ish deck. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool because up until that tournament, I didn't know that Blackwings were even playable in this format. So that opened my eyes when I saw a Whirlwind Borator when I was like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, we'll declare plague. Yep. Dark some more. If only that was a Caius, right? Yeah. Mm, you can't make that. Oh, that's right. It's got to be the. That's why I said if only it was a Caius. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's still fine. We can still do this. Yep. That's fine. Uh, yeah. I take a thousand. Uh, twenty four is good. And twenty seven. I was joking. You really play it. <laughs> it's it's good. Yeah, that's <laughs> wild. I was fully joking. That is good though. That's a that's a boss monster that I really did not consider, but it makes all the sense to be honest. No, this isn't a grave. All right, yep, yeah, they're both the same. Oh, let's see. Ouch. That piercing actually was, uh, randomly. Oh, wow. Go ahead. 
no brain, hopefully. It's worse. Oh, that is bad. That's worse. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's just, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, hmm. That's probably a card I'd want in. Gosh, hiding in this format is so awkward. Yeah, it really is. I saw Gorge Kaya Starker. <laughs> you can be literally playing any other. <laughs> 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 I know, right? That is that is kind of hard to read. Like well, what? Play, play still, yeah, it's yeah, it's hard to read exactly what's going on when those are the cards that you saw. It's like, all right, well, that doesn't tell me too much about. That is true. Actually, that's all you really saw. Wow. Yeah. And a call behind it. Yeah. All right, game two. Okay. We have some plays. Yes, sir. Gold Sark, one of the best cards in this format. Get anything you want. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, activate. Yeah. You said now your turn to get dark armed. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I guess we'll just go with this play. Attack for 200. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, there's my Dark Arm in Plague. <laughs> I like how uh, both our Dark Arm in Plagues are just visible now. Yep. Turn one. Uh, I get my next, get yeah. my next one now. Yeah. Uh, activate. Yep. Oh, this is spice. This is this is some fucking spice right here. Branding, peacock theme. Yeah, this is some bird spice for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Obviously, you target my back row and summon. I chain it. Yeah. Yep, it's mandatory. Yes. Oh my god, what a draw! Indeed. Oh no, what a fucking reversal! <laughs> oh, the battle fader! That was so good! I love this format! Alright, end phase. Oh, my three. Actually, do I want to do anything special? I could. Hmm, let me think about this. I might have my play. I could do that. That would get vanished. That might be the play. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna go. Um, so I'm going to all right, summon this thing mm -hmm. synchro. Yeah, all right, banish that thing, and then I'm passing. Draw, I get yep, daddy's daddy's home. Yep. Activate plague. Yep. Oof. Yep. So I take my right. five hundred. Discarded Crag, you're drawing to a card that you already had. Um, I don't think. I mean, you have maybe a Caius, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm about to say, if I have Caius, you're just cooked, right? Yeah. Oof. Uh, Banner, so you're just holding Dark Arm now. Well, we're up Shit's Creek all of a sudden. It's all because of the hunting ground. <laughs> yeah, we'll just bounce it. Oh, well, that's just game. I was yeah. like, if he draws a dark monster, well, I'm just dead. Well, I knew it was a dark monster. I just didn't know if you'd have Gorse, and I was like, well, it wouldn't matter one way or the other after I thought about it. Yeah, that's too much. There's too much going on over over there. Uh, let's see. We'll go with that. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Uh, this card loves me, apparently. Yeah, it does. Wow. I think... Yeah, we're just gonna go play. I was thinking if there's something silly I can do, but it's not worth it. Yeah. I'm just going to pass. Activate. Yep. It's third spine. Okay. Well, we're going to go Oof. summon. Uh, yeah. Prior to trial. Yeah. Actually. No, no priority. Okay. This one's fine. Alright. Yep. Target girl off. Yep. Uh, sure. Yep. Uh, done. That's unfortunate. Go ahead. So, what are the odds that you would have the one collute? It's very low. You've only seen... 141. Yep. So I was thinking if it's worth playing around it or not. Um... Alright, we're gonna attack here. Anything before damage? Nope. Okay. Looks like you got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nothing there. It's got three darks, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. Target everything well, but uh, value. I will hit the card trooper. All right. Okay, that's good to know. We got that out the way. I might. Well, I mean, no, it's. I think the. I don't think you're playing like debris or anything. And the JD's in the grave, so yeah, we'll go with Trooper. Yeah, yeah Trooper's a fine yeah. hit. Uh, Blitzy. Yep. Did you open with Crow? Uh, yeah. Okay. Goyo's really strong in this format. I mean, he's at one in the real Edison for a reason, probably. Yeah. But, like, in this format, where there yeah. are not, there isn't three D prisons and, like, double bottomless and all that, he's, he's something. We'll just leave it at that. I was considering doing something with Plague, but I'm like, I don't, like, when I play around the one honest. <laughs> right. The one honest. But I might. Darks might not have been bad, but then with you have any of the if you play Kai, so I'm assuming you're due to this light and darks that I've noticed, so I think this I'm gonna do this. Okay. Attack here. Oh honest. Yep. Summon Harpy Lady number one. Uh, so yeah, she. she so yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fine. She's um, she goes up to like sixteen or whatever. Okay. But yeah, she's fine. Yeah. Okay, I will try to activate Plague. Yep, that's fine. My last crow. My last card is not DD Crow.
No I'll reason for you. Yep, priority. No. No priority. What the hell? Let me see your grave. Um, well, that's a scary thought. So now you have Darkstomorph is live. You're not using priority. Yeah, I mean, I'll bottomless it still. Okay. Yep. I do have the smart. Mm hmm. I love how every game in this format matters so much because you learn like what your opponent's playing. And it greatly influences you, like your decision making and stuff. Yeah. And the reason why I didn't want a priority because I'm like, well, if he has the bottomless, then I'm not going to pitch a card to bounce back the Caius whenever you already have a dark in the grave, too. So it's right. just getting cards with that and keep a card. Yeah, no, you did the right thing for sure. So now you can't set and I'm up half a card on my turn, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'll just attack. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, this is my last card. Um, and I knew about that. And I drew this. So this sends the. Add. Yeah, I had to hope that you didn't have fucking Battle Fader. I was like, that will be the only mm -hmm. thing that actually stops stops me. Um, I'll mill it out real quick and kind of like see what it. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Like all the games that I've played in this format have been, they're really difficult. Like they're very very difficult to play. Yeah. I didn't think with you having just one card in hand, I thought it'd be all right to. I thought it'd still be safe, but. Brain control is a very real <laughs> card, unfortunately. Yeah, Brain. I was holding Brain. So the turn that I took a really long time to think, I had Brain, Caius, Honest, Bottomless. So you had a Gores in defense, and you had a Goyo Guardian. And I was like, I could do this in so many different ways. I can go Brain Control, Goyo, attack, get my Gores back. I can go Tribute the Goyo, summon Caius, Caius banish the token. So then I just have like the Gores in defense, the Caius in attack, and then the token's just fucking gone. And then my hand will be Honest plus Bottomless set. But I was like, then the Honest becomes awkward because I have nothing to use this Honest with. So I was like, I think it's a little stronger for me to hold Brain Control instead oh, and not use Brain Control that turn. Mm -hmm. So I should have made the Colossal Fighter in the hindsight. I was, I was like, not even like half away from just like shotgunning and saying YOLO, like out it, but yeah. Yeah, well, my hand, my hand basically covered. Yeah, my hand, yeah, covered, anyway, so it yeah, my it hand was one of those. It was one of those hands that covers everything, right? Like it's yeah. brain Caius is basically the out to like any situation. So when I was yeah. looking at my hand, I was like, okay, so I need him to like use his plague and stuff, or like commit cards to the field and do things before I use brain Caius. I'm not just going to use it randomly. Mm -hmm. And and you you played you made Goyo Guardian with Blizzard, which was so unfortunate for me because that allowed you to oh uh. Admit the feed because I want to watch the replay real quick. Oh my bad, my bad. I was just showing you some of the key yeah. things that. No, I, the no, I was. Still, I, I just realized that I just wanted to um, pull it up for the stream, but. Oh yeah, my, my bad. Um, so I was looking at my hand and I was like, man, I really. I also opened up Gores again and like, this time I just blatantly passed turn one. Yeah. Like game three. Uh, I think I can share my screen with you so that way you can actually see what I'm seeing. Turn on camera. I'll just pause this for like one second until it comes over to you. There we go. Yeah, I can see it now. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, game one, like you said, was just literally Gores plus Caius plus Dark Armed. <laughs> it was just like, like goddamn. I didn't even realize it was just so, so straightforward. And at this point, I didn't know you're playing the light swarm stuff, so I was like, "Oh man!" You know? Yeah, you you didn't, you had no idea. That's crazy going into game two. Like, yeah, gold strike. Your hand is all dark monsters, which is nice. So I was like, "I'll take this free plus one." I have bottomless to cover if he tries to. If you tried to make uh, what's his face right there, I was fine with that. Go your guardian. This battle fader was the most clutch battle fader I've ever seen in my life. I was going to ruin you with that Kaiku. Man, oh man. I got solo by a battle fader. That is crazy. You're the reason why the battle fader price jumped, so. 
it just caught me so off guard. I was like, all right, I'm getting two cards. Like, and he can't drop Gores here. I was like, I'll, I'll attack with Kaiku first just in case you have Trag. Also, this was a good Torrential too. Like, I, I had to do this, but. Yeah, I had the Crow and I was thinking about Crowing, but I'm like, I would much rather take the advantage off of it. Yeah. That was a good turn, troll. Whenever I attack and you activate the space, I'm like, oh god, here we go again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we here's talking, like, playing around the one honest. I'm like, should I play around the one honest? And I didn't, and I lost. But then you saw the brain of the Kaya, so it's still. Yeah, like look at my hand. My hand's really good. Then I drew a defensive card, so I was like, okay, so yeah, I can like, do I anything. <laughs> So I thought I was in a good spot here, and then... Yeah, that shit spot. was just sitting in my hand since the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like, I basically bricked. Because my hand, my only opening play was... I went first, and my opening play was literally Gores. Like, I couldn't do... I couldn't put any cards on the field because my hand was, like, so awkward. Um, I'll actually show you... Let me get out of this so you can actually see... How many uh, back row do you play? I'll show you. I was like, because, uh... Oh, yeah, that's... You played five? <laughs> yeah. There's 43 cards as well, so it's not a lot oh, of back row. Uh, the deck with this that we were talking about was the Blackwing Ninja is already good, and then you play the Armageddon Knight and the Greffer for the good Dark Monster you want in the graveyard, but then Dark Samora is also really good, and then the Harpy's Hunting Ground with all the Deep Prison, and if people are playing additional battle traps to circumvent the ones that were gone, like they can just get eaten alive by these uh, Hunting Ground, and then if I do summon a Blackwing and then they have a response to it, I don't have the Hunting Ground, I can Swallow's Nest into one of the Harpies, and then that also turns on my, like, Dark and Wind with it. So there's a lot of cool synergies the deck had. I just, you and you didn't have any back row, and it was Brain Caius, of course. Yeah, the one back row I had was a Chainable Bottomless Trap Hole. It was like, okay. Yeah. And then the other one was a Chainable MST. So it's like, <laughs> all my back row are pretty much, like, either Mirror Force or some kind of Chainable card. Um, the whole uh, concept started as kind of a joke whenever I was talking to Jindril. I'm like, hold on, I found a broken play. And I sent him a picture of Sirocco, Swallow's Nest, and then the vanilla Peacock card. I was like, they're gonna, I'm like, someone's gonna lose to this. <laughs> then I'm like, wait a second, there's actual like playability with this. Yeah, Swallow's Nest, no. I forgot about that card actually. Yeah, so if they use one of their one of Deep Prison or, or you know Bottomless or whatever they have, you can Swallow's Nest into something different. It's just a level four Wing Beast at the same level. Tribute one face up wing beast, especially on one wing beast from your deck with the same level. With the same, uh, this is actually a typo. With the same level, the oh no, it's not. With the same level, the tribute monster had on the field. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you can tribute a level four monster and get another one. That's yeah, that's actually pretty decent, and it's a lot of damage too. It could be a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, I can see this being real. I like the dark Samorph as an extender monster because I think that this format having extenders is a pretty big deal. Um, exactly, and I have quite a lot of them myself. Like I have Gores, Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Arm, JD, uh, and Cyber Dragon as all like cards that if my one normal summon gets stopped, I can like do a couple extra things. Mm -hmm. Um, and even Trag it to a degree. Like I consider Gores and Trag to be kind of that way. Like they don't you don't do them on your own turn, but you pass after your opponent stops your turn, and then you just kind of do it anyway. So it's they're kind of big ass monsters that just come out of nowhere, which is really good. But yeah. And then the, the D-Alk with this whole engine is really good, too. Yeah, no, the D-Alk is nice. I actually, like, one of the things I do with this deck is um, I just go into solo mode a lot and just start drawing hands with it. I like doing yep. that. That's what I was doing before you called. <laughs> See, oh my god. I'll take it. Yep. I will still take it. Yeah. So here I'm going to Sark for gold charge. I'm going to do both. So I'll do this too. So I'm going to get my solar recharge because we got this wolf in our hand mm -hmm. and I will probably still grab Lumina just because I got this Garof and I can set honest on turn one and then just like chill mm -hmm. and it's really hard to get through this and then like on the following turn, I could even be ignorant and summon Lumina and just be like, I have Honest and you can't do shit about it, but... Right. Uh, the play, yeah, it's, it's a little telegraph, but it's like, what are they going to do? Like, either you d attack me or you don't. If you don't attack me, I'm fine with that. If you do attack me, I'm just going to Honest you, and then I get... Next turn, I get to summon Garof, so... Really sticky situation to be in. So this is kind of how I opened up against you, where I just passed, and I had this guy in my hand. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I would just do the same thing here. I would just pass, and then if they are crazy... You didn't attack me, turn one, which is smart, because I was blatantly just like, I'm telegraphing gores or trag or whatever yeah uh and then i drew 
And I'm pretty sure that's where I drew Charger Light Brigade. And I was like, okay, so now I can go like Lumina and then it mill off and all that extra stuff started to happen. Mm-hmm. But that's why I also like main decking the uh crow, because it is it I feel like every like graveyard is gonna be like the more vital than it is normally, like in Edison. You yes. Know? No, the one crow is nice. Like, solo without using the graveyard. So I feel like just one of you know, crow is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the one crow is definitely nice. Um it caught me a little off guard. Like I, I was thinking that there might be a chance that you crow my pot of average, but I, I didn't really like. I, I was thinking it's probably seventy percent, seventy percent chance my pot of average goes through, mm-hmm. and then you crow me. I was like, oh shit! Like, yeah, I love, I love these kind of hands. Yeah, so I was side decking the fader because I like game one. I don't know what anyone's playing, but then game two, if I see they're like, okay, they're on like a pile of just good stuff, then we'll bring that in because. Kind of like you, that if they try to overextend and then if they see I have the field spell, they're like, oh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and push because you can't gorge because uh, their field spell, like, well, they're still painter, so. Yeah, it literally won game two. Like, that by itself. I thought, I saw the field spell and I saw blood. I was like, oh, man, this is so <laughs> good because he can't gorge yep. me. There's a, I said, even if he has track, like, this attack is going through. I'm going to banish his Plague Spreader and his Armageddon Knight. He's getting dark armed and that shit's going to be dead for a while. Like, everything just seems so perfect. And then you were just like, oh, I have the one card. That mm-hmm. answers all of this nonsense, Battle Fader. And I was like, damn. Yep. That, that and uh, Hedge Guard. What'd you say? Oh, I said not a bluffed Fader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not a bluff Fader. But uh, yeah, this was fun. All right, so I need to do all the, you know, my editing and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah. I'll upload this at some point this week, maybe if not next week early or something like that. But yeah, always a pleasure playing you, and I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this format a lot. It's very it's very yeah, technical cool. heavy. I like it a lot. I've built five or six different things and just like rough draft stages, and this is the one that we uh I like we're kind of tweaked on the most. But there's still a bunch of really spicy stuff that you can do that it's just there's a bunch of old cards because I played um like this is where I was playing like competitively like in you know going to like events and stuff. And so there's a lot of random cards I just remember from way back. I'm like, wait a second, this might actually have some sort of playability now because whenever you only have one of each thing, it's like they just o- always be overlooked because it just, why would you play that when there's better options? Now there's not better options. It's time to look into those things and like innovate with it. Yeah, no, I 100% agree. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.